You were scammed by a scam artist, by a predator that did a number on your psyche. And psychological damage takes a long time to repair. Yo, what's up, warriors? Welcome back to Psychopath Exposure. My name is Kira, and I'm a toxic relationship coach specializing in narcissists, sociopaths, and psychopaths, all sorts of damaged and broken individuals that somehow we attract into our lives and then they damage us even more. Interesting how that works out. If this is your first time in the channel, we are an anti-narcissist community and we expose predators and toxic individuals that exhibit narcissistic traits within the relationship. If you stick around long enough, I'm sure you'll discover the answers you've been looking for as to why the person you chose to be your partner is driving you insane. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. Today I wanted to talk about the mistakes that victims of narcissistic abuse that are trying to recover or are in recovery and when I say mistakes, it's, it's more like the expectation of how long it's going to take to get over the narcissistic abuse that your, your psychopath ex put you through. You see, the difference between a normal relationship or a normal breakup and a breakup with a psychopath or a narcissist is exactly what you're experiencing right now which is why you're watching videos like these. That PTSD, the post-traumatic stress disorder that you experience, um, usually first thing in the morning upon waking up, that anxiety that scares you, scares you so much that you can't even make it to work. A lot of people, after being discarded by a narcissist, they, they have to call out of work for a long time. I know I did. Um, I took two weeks where luckily my boss at the time allowed me to work from home uh, because I just couldn't, I couldn't leave. I, I would get up in the morning uh, determined to go. I would, I would do, I would do 100 push-ups the mo moment I would get out of bed, um, have my breakfast, um, drink like five cups of this really calming tea and watch, I wasn't watching narcissistic videos because I did not know at the time that my ex was a psychopath narcissist so I was just watching videos on therapists and and you know coaches talking about relationships and how to get over a relationship and um, it made me feel better as far as maybe some of these coaches had a very soothing voice but nothing really resonated with me because the advice was usually work on yourself go to the gym get yourself another girl and it's like, no, this, this, is, this is different. This is different. So um, I got to tell you, when you're going through something like this, you don't know how long it's going to take to get better. I, as a coach, I like to help you accelerate the process. But at the end of the day, it's, it's really up to you and how much work you do as far as the recovery work, um, which a lot of it is psychological work that needs to be done um, becoming aware of your thought patterns, actively uh, stopping them, reframing them, shifting the focus. It's, it's not easy to do at the beginning when you're constantly, constantly ruminating over what the narcissist did. Um, when the brain remembers something they did two years ago and you realize now, oh, that, that makes sense now. They were cheating. That's why they set things the way they said it. That's why they hesitated. That's why they looked to the side when I asked them that question. And all those memories create a trigger in your brain that it, at the same time is a double-edged sword. At the same time, your brain um, checked off a box that needed to be checked off for you to get that validation that you knew they were lying or they were cheating or they were up to no good. But at the same time, it, it impacts you. It impacts your, your, your PTSD. So this type, of, this type of thing could take a long time. And I, I work with a lot of survivors of narcissistic abuse that sometimes we've been working for, for months. And, and they're like, man, it's been six months and I, I still have this person 
in my head, I'm still thinking about them. And I have to quickly point out, yeah, but how is your life now compared to six months ago? What type of things are you doing now? Tell me about your life, your activities, the, the, the new people that you've met, the goals that you've accomplished. And it's like, you see, your life is 10 times better already. But the, the damage that these psychopaths do to your psyche, it, it, it's, it's long lasting. Sometimes for the rest of your life, you're always going to have something there that is going to constantly remind you of them. Now, don't get me wrong. You're not going to be ruminating 24 hours a day. I never think of my psychopath ex. Even when I mention psychopath ex, I'm not really getting a visual of her in my head. I did enough work. Enough time has passed. I've dated other people. I've accomplished so many great things ever since that toxic relationship came to a bitter end that I, I can look at old pictures sometimes on my Google Photos. I do not get triggered. I, I see her and I know what I'm looking at. It, it makes me laugh and I move forward. It, does, it doesn't bother me. But for a long time, I couldn't even look at a photograph. I mean, the no contact was, was a thousand percent no contact. No photographs, no social media, nothing. Not even reading old texts, old emails, nothing. I had to just block everything so that it wouldn't trigger myself and resurface that or, or that anxiety coming back and, and, and flooring me again, right? And paralyzing me. Um, so I developed an ebook that you guys probably, if you've already been in this community long enough, you've probably already read. But if you're new to the channel, um, I wrote uh, the five steps of going no contact with a psychopath narcissist. I have links below in the description um, where you can download uh, the ebook. It's a free ebook. You download it straight to your phone and your computer, and it's going to show you how to go no contact with your narcissist ex. But uh, anyway, I digress. Um, guys, keep in mind that. I don't care if it takes you six months, a year. It took me two years to finally say, hey, I'm done with this shit. Um, but that doesn't mean that for two years I was fucked. It was two years where I finally realized that, oh shit, like a couple of days have passed and I'm not, I'm not thinking of, of this succubus anymore. And, and even when I made that realization, I, I didn't get all triggered and, and all... Um, on edge it actually it released endorphins and made me feel really really happy um, but before you get to that place and that's a place that I can certainly help you uh, arrive at sooner you can't beat yourself up that's one of the biggest mistakes that uh, victims of narcissistic abuse make when they're trying to recover from this and, and heal is that they start beating themselves up they feel guilty for not having gotten over this by now they start beating themselves up they start listening to their friends once again the dumbass friends that tell you hey you're still not over that person like get over it then you start beating yourself up like damn i'm better than this i can't believe i'm still thinking about this i can't believe i'm wasting all this time and you're not you're not wasting any time you were scammed by a scam artist by a predator that did a number on your psyche and psychological damage takes a long time to repair it's not something that you can just go to the doctor and 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 they, they put your brain on a cast and then in a few weeks you, you're good to go they remove the cast and you and, and you can go back and, and run around or overthink right no that's not how this works so put the stick down okay put the stick down all right and, and realize that what you went through is something that most people have never experienced, okay? And of course, will never understand until they themselves go through this experience. So those are two of the biggest mistakes is not recognizing how long the recovery from narcissistic abuse is actually gonna take. And, and number two is beating yourself up because of some expectation that you made about how long this should have taken for you, that you're better than this and, and you shouldn't be um, dwelling on this anymore. You shouldn't have PTSD anymore. You shouldn't have this anxiety. Look, let me tell you, I appreciate that you're getting angry at the situation because 
anger will propel you forward if, if you know what you need to do, but it can be it can be your greatest enemy at the same time because anger turned inwards is depression. So realize that these, these are unex, um, unrealistic expectations you're putting on yourself. And you know who else put unrealistic expectations on you? Your narcissist ex. That's right. They did the same thing. They idealized you so much in a, in, in a form that you, you could never, you could never reach that level of idealization that they had for you during the first stage of the abuse. It's unrealistic. So what happened when they realized that you were not the person they thought you were or hoped you could be? Then they started devaluing you, didn't they? Do you not see the similarities? You idealize yourself getting better within a few weeks or a month, if even, because sometimes a month sounds like an eternity after you've been discarded. But then when you don't reach those unrealistic expectations, then you start devaluing yourself for not being strong enough to get through this faster. Don't pull a narcissistic move on yourself. Don't do that because that's another huge mistake. You start torturing yourself and all bets are off. There ain't going to be no recovery. You have to learn how to love yourself without a romantic partner in your life. You have to love yourself despite your imperfections, despite your insecurities, and despite that you got played, finessed, and scammed by a psychological predator that you didn't see coming. So put the stick down. Put the stick down. Give yourself credit. You're still alive. Okay? You are a survivor. And I'm going to help you guys become warriors. Because once you conquer narcissistic abuse, nothing will ever get in your way again. Nothing can stop you. You become unstoppable. Why? Because this type of Psychological damage is repaired in, in a way that makes you strong enough to face your fears. So anything else that, that comes your way, you're going to remember, ah, but I went, through, I went through that situation. I survived a psychopathic entanglement. I survived that. I got through Oh, I turned my life around and my life became awesome. So what is this stupid shit that life is throwing at me now? I got it. I got it. I know what I got to do. That's not the same. That's not going to put me in a state of paralysis by analysis. That situation is not going to set you back the same way you were set back with your narcissist that you couldn't even, I mean, you were a vegetable of yourself. That'll never happen again. And your brain needs proof, not promise. That's one thing I got to tell you. Your brain needs to needs to recognize that moving forward, when when you see red flags in people, and you're able to call it out and stand up for yourself and your self worth and your self esteem goes up, then your brain says, Ah, okay. When this shit happens, I know what I got to do. I've been through worse. I can handle it. I can handle it. And that's when you start getting comfortable with facing fear. And you have to, as the the saying goes. Um, face your fears and the death of fear is certain and the thing is that we were afraid we were afraid to stare down the psychopath because they have an, 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 they have an abyss right? when you look into their eyes as an abyss there's no soul in there we were afraid to look in there and tell them hey I see you psychopath I see you I know what you are you're dead inside and you're a monster and you cannot hurt me anymore and you do not have control of me anymore I have exposed you and I have taken control back. I'm going to fix myself. I'm going to turn my life around. I'm putting boundaries. Get the fuck out of my life, psychopath. Once you're able to do shit like that, nothing's going to stop you. And your life is just going to catapult okay, into greatness. You'll see. So keep fighting the good fight. Okay, Love yourself. Believe in yourself. This happened. This situation happened for you. Not to you, it happened for you. Because the type of work you're going to do and the way you're going to rebuild yourself is going to 
put you in a higher frequency and a higher paradigm where greater things exist, okay? And things you never thought you could ever accomplish or manifest into your life, you will start manifesting on the regular. But the work has to be done. You have to put the stick down. You have to understand um, that this takes time because this was a narcissistic psychological um, torture that was done to you, okay? Put the stick down. Stop beating yourself up. And if you need a little assistance, if you'd like to work directly with me on a one-on-one -on -one level, I have a link below in the description where you can get uh, more information and details on how we can work together on a private one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching mentoring session. And then we can go through this together. We can workshop the situation, outline a plan of action that's going to propel you um, into your recovery, moving forward towards the things you want away from this trauma. Okay, and uh, it's going to give you the, the confidence and it's going to build your self-esteem and self-worth because you're going to be doing the work for yourself. Nothing's going to be handed to you on a platter. Okay, nothing. You got to earn this shit. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? So feel free to reach out. Send me an email at info at psychopathexposure.com or visit the website psychopathexposure.com front slash coaching or click the link in the description which is the shortcut, okay? I, I can't make it any easier, okay? So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, again, my name is Kita. This is Psychopath Exposure, anti-narcissist community. Drop comments below with your situation and if you want to rant, if you want to vent. Uh, but most of all, if you've already come out of the other side and your life has gotten better, please share your experience with everyone in the community so they can see that things get better. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and click on the little bell icon so you get notified next time I drop a new video. And of course, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, I really appreciate all of your love and support, guys. I love you too. And I hope to see you in the next video. Stay strong.